Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multiplying, dividing, positive, and negatives. And we want to find each quotient. So, if I was given this quotient, 2, 34, divided by negative 13. And this one's tricky, okay? Because um, 13 is always, they're my favorite. Those prime numbers are hard for me to divide by. Well, I like to write it as a fraction. So, 234, if I can write it out, 234 over negative 13. So 234, I want to break down. Well, quickly, I know 2 goes into it, right? Because 2, uh, it ends, it's, a, it's an even number, and so 2 goes into 234. So let's go figure that out. 2 goes into 234. I'm going to cut it in half here. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2, subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down 3. 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract them. 1. Bring down this 4, all right? Uh, and 2 times 14, or 2 goes into 14 seven times. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14, and we're done. 0. So now we have 117. But I'm not convinced. I think 117 can be broken down. Right? 117 has to be able to be broken down. Okay? And so I'm trying to think, what can I do? Maybe 13 goes into it. Um, you know, how can I break that down? Turns out, turns out that 9, 9 goes into 117. Okay? So let's go check that out here. I'm going to write uh, right, right here. 117. Does 9 go into it? Okay? And I kind of know this ahead of time, but what, 9 goes into 11. Uh, 1 times 1 times 9 is 9. We subtract it. 11 minus 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. Bring down the 7. 9 goes into 27. 3 times. 3 times 9 is 27. Subtract them. We get 0. We're good. 13. So 9 times 13 is uh, 117. And 2 times 117 is 234. So the numerator breaks down, believe it or not, this one was tricky, 2 times 9 times 13. The denominator is just negative 1 times 13. Well, we can cancel the 13s out, and we're left with 2 times 9, which is 18, divided by negative 1, negative 18, our final answer. So again, let's recap. We have 234 divided by negative 13. Wrote it as a fraction right here. Now, 234, I knew we could break down. 2 goes into 234, okay, I saw that. So 2 goes into 234. Um, it was even. We found out to be 117. 117 was tricky. I didn't have anything off the top of my head. But I knew 9 went into it, right? Kind of know it from the answer. Okay, but I can just try different numbers and see which one goes in evenly. 9 went in evenly. 9 uh, goes in 11. One time, 9 down here. 11 minus 9 is 2. Bring down to 7. Uh, now we have 27. 9 goes in 27 three times. 3 times 9 is 27. Subtract them. 0, we're good, 13, so 9 times 13 is 117, times 2 is 234, that's our uh, factorization at the top, not prime, because 9 is not prime, but it's okay. So now we cancel out the 13s, because the denominator was just negative 1 and 13, so now we're left with 2 times 9, which is 18, divided by negative 1, which is negative 18, our final answer.